Thanks. Hi, little learners. Are you ready to go have some fun and explore somewhere new with me? Great! But where are we going to go? If you want to find out the place and listen well. If you want to find out the place and listen well. If you want to find out the place that we are learning about today. If you want to find out the place and listen well. If you want to find out the place and be quiet. If you want to find out the place and be quiet. If you want to find out the place that we are learning about today. If you want to find out the place and be quiet. Tidbits has a gift for us. Thank you, Tidbits. That is so nice of you. When we unwrap this gift, we will find out where our big trip is going to be to. On the count of three, can you yell, rip that paper. One, two, three, rip that paper. Oh boy, can't wait. <gasps> what is this? It looks like some type of spice. It's called paprika. Do you know where they cook with a lot of paprika? Hungry! Paprika is a spice made out of dried peppers. And in Hungary, they sit it on the table when they're eating next to the salt and pepper. Paprika. Can you say paprika with me? Paprika. Good job. Paprika is Hungarian for pepper. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Whoa, that was a tongue twister. The capital of Hungary is Budapest. A popular thing to do in Budapest is to soak in warm baths. Locals will spend hours at the bathhouse soaking in these magical waters. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a tub. And who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Turn them out, knaves all three. Did you know not all animals take baths in water? I'm being serious. Get this. A cat takes a bath with its tongue. Can you stick out your tongue with me? Good job. A cat will lick its fur for its bath. What kind of bath do you think a polar bear takes? It is with something very cold. A snow bath. A pig takes a mud bath. Pew-wee. Can you say pew-wee? Pew-wee! Awesome job! What kind of bath do you think a zebra takes? A dust bath! ay 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 How are you supposed to get clean in dust? Can you guess what a crow rolls in for a bath? I'm 
I'm not kidding you. Crows roll in ants for a bath. What kind of bath do you think a snow monkey takes? I'll give you a clue. It's something that will help warm them up. A steam bath. Snow monkeys like to get nice and warm and toasty in their baths. A seal takes a sun bath. Doesn't that sound fun to lay by the beach in the sun for your bath time? And get this, oh my goodness. Giraffes do not take baths at all. Maybe their necks are so tall, they can't even smell that they need a bath. <laughs> what kind of bath do you like to take? I like to take a bubble bath. Which is the way you take a bath, take a bath, take a bath. Which is the way you take a bath so early in the morning. Do you like to take a tongue bath, a tongue bath, a tongue bath? Do you like to take a tongue bath pretending you are a cat? Do you like to take a snow bath, a snow bath, a snow bath? Do you like to take a snow bath as if you're a polar bear? Do you like to take a mud bath, a mud bath? A mud bath. Do you like to take a mud bath pretending you are a pig? Do you like to take a dust bath? A dust bath, a dust bath. Do you like to take a dust bath as if you are a zebra? Do you like to take an ant bath? An ant bath, an ant bath. Do you like to take an ant bath pretending you are a crow? Do you like to take a steam bath? A steam bath, a steam bath. Do you like to take a steam bath as if you're a snow monkey? Do you like to take a sun bath? A sun bath, a sun bath. Do you like to take a sun bath pretending you are a seal? Do you like to take no bath? Take no bath, take no bath. Do you like to take no bath as if you are a giraffe? Hmm, I think I'll just stick with bubble baths for now. While we are in Budapest, we might as well go to a farmer's market called the Roma Coast Market. There are several booths selling fresh and healthy food right along the water. Oh, look! Here's a booth that we could stop at. And it has a basket that says purple. Can you think of any fruits or vegetables that are purple? Those are great guesses. Let's see if you are correct. What are these? Yes, they are grapes. Are grapes a fruit or a vegetable? Awesome, grapes are a fruit. Do you like to eat grapes? I love grapes. I wonder what is next in the basket. <gasps> it's an onion. Do you think an onion is a fruit or a vegetable? Yes, onions are a vegetable. They have a really strong smell. The smell is so strong, it can even make your eyes water when an adult is cutting them up to cook with them. Can you smell the onion and bat your eyes and wipe away a tear with me? Woo! Onions are very strong. Let's see if there's anything else in this basket. It sounds like we are in luck. What is next? It's an eggplant. An eggplant is a pretty purple fruit. Hmm. What are these? Fantastic. They are berries. 
berries are perfect to make fruit pies. Do you like to put ice cream or whipped cream on your pies? I like both. <laughs> oh, there looks like there's one final item in the basket. Let's see what it is. <gasps> it's a plum. Do you think plums are fruits or vegetables? Awesome job. They are a fruit that grow in a tree. We should buy one of these and put them in our basket. Which one of these purple fruits and vegetables should we buy? Hmm, I think I'll buy the grapes. Ooh, this will be so yummy later. <sighs> Having so much fun doing all of this shopping reminds me of my Favorite silly song. Down by the bank, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, Did you ever see a moose kissing a goose? Did you know that ketchup is made out of tomatoes? Yummy! I wonder what is next? It's a strawberry! Are strawberries a vegetable? No, strawberries are fruit. That is silly. Do you like strawberries? Strawberries are the best. Hmm, let's see what else we could buy at this booth. What is this? Yes, an apple. An apple is a fruit. Remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Let's see if there's anything else in the basket. I hear a few more items. Let's see what they are. They are some grapes and berries. 
We saw purple grapes and berries at the other booth. Did you know that grapes and berries also come in red? That is so neat. Do you remember if grapes and berries are fruits or vegetables? Fantastic, you are so smart. Grapes and berries are fruits. Good job remembering. Hmm, which one of these should I buy? Let's buy the strawberry. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. What do you think is in here? Possibly. Let's see. What is this? It's a carrot. Great job. Is a carrot a fruit or a vegetable? Yes, a carrot is a vegetable. Can you think of any animals that eat carrots? Bunnies, horses, and reindeer all love to eat carrots. I wonder what is next in the basket. It's an orange. Are oranges sweet or sour fruits? Yes, oranges are a sweet fruit when ripe. Let's see if there's anything else in the basket. It's a pepper. Great job. Is a pepper a fruit or a vegetable? You are right. A pepper is a vegetable. Do you remember the Hungarian word for pepper? You got it! Paprika! Awesome job! What is next? This is a peach. Do you know if a peach is a fruit or a vegetable? Great job. A peach is a juicy fruit. There looks like there's one more item in the basket. What do you think it is? It's a pumpkin. 
pumpkins are a fruit that I love to carve at Halloween. Hmm, which one of these should we buy? Let's buy the carrot this time. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, Didn't you ever see a fish doing hula on a dish? Down by the bay, down by the bay. Where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, did you ever see a parrot eating a carrot down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Time to find out. What is this? Yes, it's a banana. Is a banana a fruit or a vegetable? That's right. A banana is a fruit. Can you think of an animal that loves to eat bananas? Monkeys! Can you act like a monkey with me? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. I love bananas! <laughs> That's funny. What is next, I wonder? Some corn! Do you think corn is a fruit or a vegetable? Great job! Corn is a vegetable. Whew, this is really putting me in the mood for some popcorn because popcorn is made out of corn. Can I hear you say pop, 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 just like some popcorn? Fantastic! What is next? A lemon. Are lemons a sweet or a sour fruit? Hmm. <laughs> yes, lemons are really sour. Can you make a sour face with me? Ooh, <laughs> that's the face I make almost every time I bite into a lemon. Ooh. <laughs> Is there anything else? I think so. I hear a few more items. Let's see what they are. An apple and also a pepper. Wow, we saw apples and peppers at the other booth. I didn't know that apples and peppers came in both Red and yellow, they are so colorful. Do 
Do you remember if an apple is a fruit or a vegetable? Fruit! Now, do you remember what a pepper is? Vegetable! <laughs> yes! Hmm, which one of these should I buy? Because we are in Budapest, it would only be fitting to make sure we buy at least one pepper. Let's put it in the basket. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, Did you ever see a snake baking a cake? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not Count them with me. One, two, three, four. I have four items. Well, I better go pay for them and put them back in my basket. It was so much fun shopping with you and learning about fruits and vegetables. Oh, goody, goody. It is crap time. We are going to make the Hungarian flag out of Fruit Loops and marshmallows. Here is the Hungarian flag. I see a red rectangle, a white rectangle, and a green rectangle. First, you will take a white piece of paper and draw a line from the left to the right twice so that you have three equal sized rectangles from the left to the right, from the left to the right. Now what we need to do is figure out what colors we need. Wow, these Fruit Loops have a lot of colors. Will we need all of them for our flag? No, we will not need all of them. We will need the Fruit Loops that are red, and green because our marshmallows are white. Okay, can you help me sort these? Thanks. Do we need a blue Fruit Loop on our Hungarian flag? No, there is not any blue on our Hungarian flag, so I'm going to put it in this bowl. Will we need a green Fruit Loop? Yes. 
there is green on the Hungarian flag. So let's put the green loop loop right here. Do we need purple for the Hungarian flag? I don't see any purple on the Hungarian flag, so we'll put it over here. How about a red Fruit Loop? Do we need a red Fruit Loop? You betcha! So we better put the red one in this bowl. Do we need orange and yellow? No, so we'll put them over here. Okay. I'm going to keep sorting out all the red and the green ones. That took some work. Now we will take the glue and glue all of the red fruit loops on the top rectangle. Just like this, we glued all of the red fruit loops on the top rectangle. Now, what do we need for the middle rectangle? The white marshmallows. Let's glue them on now. Fantastic! We glued all of the white marshmallows in the center rectangle. Now all we have to do is glue the green fruit loops at the very bottom. Ta-da! This looks awesome! Thanks for all of your help. I'm going to hang the Hungarian flag that we made together on my refrigerator. We had the best experiences in Hungary today, but I better go and get ready for our next trip. So long to you, so long to you, so long dear learners, so long to you, so long to you, so long to you, so long.